Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. Wife 33 female, admitted to cheating on me 33 male. With my best friend, 32 male, during Thanksgiving dinner. I'm writing this at 3.00 a.m. on the day after Thanksgiving, on a temporary account since all of my friends are aware of my Reddit account, because I'm completely stumped as to what I should do. After having an affair with my closest friend since high school, my wife, who has been my life's loves since 10th grade, decided to leave me. I'm entirely and utterly upset. To provide some perspective, my wife, I'll refer to her as M, and I have been together since we were in high school. When I first met her in 9th grade, she was dating T, who happens to be my best friend in this story. The relationship between T and I was fine, but we weren't especially close at the time. After meeting my future wife, I was immediately taken in by her. Through my freshman year of high school, I hoped that she and T would separate so that I might have a chance at a relationship with her. It happened. Gradually, and by 10th grade, I had become friends with her and had asked her out on a date. Our relationship was one of the best things that happened to me when I was in high school, and her company helped me get through what would have been a very difficult four years otherwise. Since they were both freshmen at the time, T didn't appear to be bothered by the fact that I was seeing his ex, and he even gave me his blessing when I asked if it was okay. By senior year, we'd have become close friends, and there was no reason to suspect that he harbored any ill will against me since I had been dating his ex-girlfriend from freshman year. I kept my connection with my wife and my close relationship with T by attending the same local state institution for college as they did, which was convenient for us. In certain instances, T was plainly attracted to my wife, as shown by the fact that I caught him staring her in the eyes at parties, and when one of my other friends told me that T had confided in him about his desire to my wife. However, although this concerned me, my wife is pretty attractive, so I recognized that other guys, including my friends, would undoubtedly be attracted to her, and I was okay with that as long as they didn't make a move. His overall attraction to her was obvious and throughout the course of our friendship, he's often made subtle compliments about her appearance and how lucky I was, once commenting on her shape, which I found particularly amusing. Let's fast forward to the present day, more than a decade after that. My wife and I now have two wonderful children, a boy and a girl, and we are married, but T just divorced his ex-wife and is now single. T has been suffering from severe sadness for the last three months as a consequence of the separation and divorce proceedings. The fact that my job commitments and the mental health difficulties that I was dealing with took up all of my time made it impossible for me to be there for him emotionally. His stuff were being rummaged through when my wife strolled in and offered assistance to him. Although they hadn't been particularly close since college, in fact, my wife loathed T's womanizing tendencies. I noticed a significant improvement in their relationship after T's divorce and my wife's encouragement of him to remarry. T's wife would constantly sit next to him and laugh at his jokes whenever he came over to hang out with me, and she would go out of her way to inquire when he would be coming over again. I was bothered by it and didn't ask because I didn't want to seem possessive, but I was grateful that T had someone who could be there for him when I couldn't be. After a time, Things became so bad that my wife started coming over to T's house to spend out with him while I was at work. Around the beginning of September, I lost my cool and told my wife that I was dissatisfied with the amount of time they were spending together. However, instead of being angry or accusing me of being overbearing, she expressed regret and said that she had been absorbed in the relationship and that she would respect my boundaries in the future. In response to my inquiry as to whether she was attracted to T, she responded affirmatively, stating that he had flirted with her but had never made a move and that they had never done anything together. As a result of this discovery, I broke down and told my wife that I didn't want her to spend any more time with T in the future. She acknowledged her mistake and expressed regret for what she had done. Everything looked to be fine for the next several weeks, with the exception of the fact that I started to avoid T the beginning of this month though my wife and I had a serious quarrel about money that we were unable to resolve. She has been looking for work since the pandemic ended, but despite a reasonably flexible labor market, she has been unable to find work with any companies. My work does not offer enough money to support a four-person household, 
and as a result, we have had significant financial difficulties. The argument grew so intense that she left the room and didn't return for many hours, according to witnesses. Despite the fact that she was disorganized and wearing a weird look on her face, I didn't inquire as to where she'd been for the last several days. Although I was aware of this, I never confronted her about her whereabouts since I didn't want to confront her at the moment. Forward to Thanksgiving, when my whole family was invited along with many of my friends, including T, who I hadn't talked to in over a month, and we all had a wonderful time. The dinner conversation was going well until the subject of politics was brought up. In terms of politics, T and I are on opposite ends of the spectrum. With him being a staunch Trump fan and me being a liberal, please do not argue about politics in the comments section. We had previously avoided discussing politics in our relationship, but for some reason he felt compelled to do so at this point in our relationship. It didn't take long for the conversation to devolve into a personal one, with T declaring that my liberalism was a manifestation of my cowardice and inability to be a man. When I inquired as to the source of his dissatisfaction, he said that it stemmed from my inability to pleasure my wife. This took me and the rest of the dinner table by surprise, since my wife and I had never discussed our lives in front of anybody before. The rest of the meal was unpleasant and full of silence as a result of what had happened. As soon as everyone had done eating, I turned to face my wife and tea she dropped to the ground as he looked me in the eyes and admitted to F my wife on November 4th, the day we had the altercation. He then looked me in the eyes again and said, I F my wife on November 4th. He said that she had come over for advice and that they had ended up hugging with him initiating the contact. He claims she first objected and declared that it was wrong, but eventually fell in and they had relations. My wife stayed completely silent throughout and immediately started sweeping the floor. What I felt instead of being enraged was surprise and unable to say anything. T had just left after a few minutes of silence, leaving me and my wife alone in our apartment. During her, she said that she had made the biggest mistake in her life, and that the stress of my work, caring for our children, and my personal problems, which resulted in my being unattentive to her, had made her feel unwanted, but T's attention and flirtation had made her feel wonderful. She said that she had no intention of doing anything with T, despite the fact that he had shown an interest in sleeping with her when they were hanging out, and that she was just intending to use him for attention while I was gone. She stated that having relations with him was a consequence of her weakness in the aftermath of our disagreement, and that she regretted it. When she approached me, I urged her to get out of my way because I needed some alone time to reflect. She went up to her room and came down to talk to me and asked me to go, but every time she tried to speak to me, I shouted at her to get out of my face, and she kept coming back. It gives me great sadness as I sit here and type these words. The notion of my wife having an affair with another man makes me feel so sick to my stomach that I've never felt such misery in my life. I want to stay with her since she is the love of my life, but I'm not sure what I should believe about her. Was it truly just once that they had? So, was it truly an inadvertent mistake brought on by stress? I'm not sure what to say. I want to be with my wife more than anything else, so what are your thoughts on this?